We're gonna make ourselves a gigantic teepee. Like you've never seen before. Hey, episode two. This is Benoit here. We're gonna finish on episode two. The floor plan, it's gonna be beautiful. And uh, come and have a look, guys. See here, these logs here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring them over to the respective place, and then we're gonna cut them up. So we're gonna need three beams here, right? And then when we came here, we had a little look. We had some visitors. They came and cut our lasso. Now, if we get a deer, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna hang them up? We're gonna get another rope going, and it's gonna be beautiful. So the floor plan here, we're gonna lay out three beams, right? It's gonna be a triangle like this, and then another beam over there, and then we're gonna put some posts. We're gonna tie them up in here around the teepee, and then we're gonna start our floor plan, right? So uh, before we can do that here, we gotta cut a lot of these little toothpicks and uh, continue, and as predicted, it snowed, eh? So happy, so happy that we got these posts up because there's no way you can do this in the snow. There's no way, man, <laughs> so it's beautiful. Well, let's get on with it, you betcha. So we got our beams in place here. You see how this is gonna play out, guys? Come have a look over here. You'll have a better angle. See? This is what we're talking about here. This is our triangle like this. The fire is gonna be right here in the middle, right? These beams are gonna go up now for our second story. And then after that, once we get those beams up, which is gonna be an easy task, we're, we're assuming here. Some of them's a little bit heavy, but anyways, then we're gonna go get ourselves some nice posts. And you see there's a little snag right here. Come check out this snag, man. Oh, so you see this? We're gonna let nature be the artist here. Look at that, eh? This is gonna be a beautiful post. Now there's a little nub here. We're gonna keep this little nub right here because we're gonna hang a, a gas lantern probably on it, right? For the TP, it just makes sense. Sometimes, you know, when nature gives you the tools, you just, you just work with it. And, uh, but let's start first here. We're gonna get these beams up and start with that here. Cause then we'll have a pretty good idea of our measurements and the rest, eh? So I got my redneck pencil here. We're gonna mark out eight foot. And I know what you guys are thinking here. The ground's not all level, which is okay. Cause we're just gonna do a rough teepee. Right there, eight foot. See a redneck pencil like this, you gotta have one. So once we get these little notches out of here, we're gonna bring a lasso here, prop this guy up, you know, in the vicinity of where it needs to be. Then over here, I'm gonna come with the step ladder, put this, this side in place, ratchet strap it, so it's not gonna move. Come back to this side, put it in its place, nail it down, and then yeah, we'll, we'll go on from there, eh? 
Let's let's check it out, guys. Okay, so we're just gonna temporarily. I guess you could do this with rope, but why would you when you have a ratchet strap, right? Look at this little slippery, slippery devil, eh? There we go. Temporary setup. There we go. Eh? It's doable by yourself, guys. It is doable by yourself. Looks like I, I still got the touch with the measuring stick, eh? Beautiful. See, that's gonna stick out nice. So we're only gonna put one nail here because we're gonna leave it a pivot point, right? We're gonna go put that sucker back into place and then we're gonna start to nail it off solid, eh? So now we can mark it with our fancy pencil. Let's put this sucker into place. So yesterday we got ourselves our, our stick here. So as you can see here on some of the joints, we, we uh, notch those in, right? We wanna have maximum strength here. So we're thinking we're probably gonna, like we said earlier, we're gonna put some posts here for the major beams, eh? But these little sticks here, that should be okay just like that, eh? So we're, we're gonna continue around. If, if you can see here, all the way here, we still gotta do these puppies over here. Shouldn't take us too long to do. So once we get all of these, then it's chopping time, eh? We're gonna go get ourselves some sticks, chop them down, and then start laying our floor plan. It's gonna be beautiful. What a day though, eh? A little bit of frost, that's okay. We're tough, we're Canadians. Made in Canada, baby, that's right.
got our floor beams. Now we're gonna be uh, cutting these little snags here. And Anthony and I, we were talking, eh? We were asking ourselves, what is gonna be quicker, eh? If, if we have no power tools. We're thinking, I don't know, I'm thinking this axe here. What do you think? You think you're soft? I don't know. I think it's gonna be pretty close. So I think we're just gonna test it and find out. Yeah, we're gonna do the test here. Find out, no power tools, primitive tools here. So let's, uh, let's have a look, eh? And then we can start building our floor plan here. Wonderful. Yeah, so let's I guess we know. The sauce quicker. Sauce the way to go. <laughs> hey. Here we go. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. I think I got a quicker way, bro. Oh. Let me let me try this out here. One sec. There she goes. Woo! I think so. That's the redneck way. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> you can take that uh, little trick there and put it down your notepad. I don't know, Ben. I think we got her. What do you say? Yeah, those Magnum slugs really did some uh, some damage. I wouldn't want to be in the way of those, eh? It's not the cleanest looking cut, but no, it works, eh? When it works, it works. What are you gonna do? While we're at it here, we might as well try the dark sort too, eh? <laughs> oh. Hell's up pretty good. Yeah, dark sword, armory. Love it. That was a lot better than I thought it was gonna do. Yeah, that was better than the, the saw, I would say. And there you go, lunch break's over. Enough with the nonsense.
think we got a lot, guys. So we're gonna slap those puppies on here and uh, see how much we need more. Woo! It's getting hot all of a sudden. Eh? <laughs> So we got ourselves some nice piles here. See, this way we can just lasso them, right? Bring them over with the quad. It's gonna be easy peasy here at this point. Everything's organized and de-branched. So uh, we're gonna get all of our lumber ready and start this floor package. I think it's gonna be sturdy here. Well, let's get on with the work here and uh, start skidding these puppies here. Okay, so the job's pretty much done. You see this little stick here? This is my little quick release, eh? Let me show you guys a little trick. You ready? Slide this puppy out. Oh, bam. See, you always gotta keep a little stick here. Quick release. Or else you make knots and then it just gets tangled. You gotta cut the rope, eh? You learn tricks as you go, you know? Everything works, but I like this little stick scenario. I call it my quick release. There we go, easy peasy. Okay, floor plan. Hey, we got lots of sticks here. We're gonna slap those puppies up there and make ourselves a floor. And we can dance a little bit on there, eh? Let's have a look. All right, well, this is our floor set up here. Good old uh, tie wire, right? So we, we got our uh, few sticks that we started already there. So this is what it's gonna look like pretty much. But the sun, you know, it's, it's out already, eh? Because there's a nice beautiful mountain there. The sun just goes right behind it. We got like three or four hours of work time here. So that's okay. We're going to deal with it, eh? In the summer, there's going to be lots of sunshine. It goes straight up here. But uh, winter, you got to do with what you got to do, right? So we're going to come back tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to have a floor here. I guarantee you that. Eh? That's the one. Okay, 
so now that we got our beams here on the floor plan, we're thinking we're gonna take some of these sticks here, put some tie wire, right? And then, then this one is gonna lay right on top here, right? So we can nail this in here and it should be strong enough. So let's get this puppy all nice and tight. Good morning guys, good morning. So all of our floor is up here. I'm so glad about that. <laughs> you guys don't have any clue how long it took because if you look around here, there's at least a hundred sticks here. We had to cut all these little trees, man. What a pain in the arse, I'm telling you. But that's okay because we got it done. We got some of these posts up here, right? Just to hold things together and they're gonna work as our, uh, our bench post as well. You guys are gonna see later here how we're gonna slide some slabs in between these beautiful posts to make ourselves some benches, right? And our fire here, cause there's these stumps here, right? We're gonna burn them. I think that's the most efficient way for now. Plus, you know, it does a little bit of cleanup. So there's another stump here. You see this bad boy here? We're, we're gonna burn this sucker down and flatten things out so in the summer, at that point, then we can we can do a nice rake, you know, shovel it out a bit and, and flatten the flatten the curve, as they say. Eh? So yeah, all right. So I guess we're gonna put this uh, last post up. You guys will have a look at how we do that. Pretty simple. You just measure and cut, right? And then we're gonna go cut our slabs, skid them over, and slide them in here. Okay? It's looking pretty good so far. We're almost done, guys. We brought the tarps. Almost done. Maybe we get it done today, I don't know. But that's okay, because tomorrow's another day. Now that there, and we got a straight butt there. Where did you say we wanted this stuff to be? Oh, right here. Yeah, this is where it's all axed out. Eh? We're 
gonna leave a half inch here just to prop it up a bit because with the floor system there, it, uh, it sagged a little bit, right? So we're gonna leave a little half inch. And then this, in the summer, most likely because it's frozen, so it's gonna you know sag down, eh? But we're gonna bang some dirt under it and then it's gonna be nice and proper again, eh? Looks level to me. Let's check it on this side. I think we'll sneak it a bit this way. Looks pretty good. So let's get some nails in here. Some little toenails. Just so it doesn't wiggle around, eh? Like I said, in the summer, we're gonna shim it up with some dirt. Good enough. So I think we're ready for our slabs here, hey? It's gonna be exciting, because we're gonna do uh, a uh, vertical cut in the tree. So it could take some time, but that's okay, because it's gonna be beautiful. Once we get these slabs in here, we can have a seat for lunch with our bushcraft, right? We've been using a little bit of modern tools here, but it's time for some bushcraft seating here. I think so. Nice stick for slabs, hey, look at the size of this puppy. I'm thinking, you know, three slabs and then maybe we'll make more for a table or something, eh? Let's find out. Here.
so I think this looks pretty good, eh? Well, we're gonna put them back together, right? And then we're gonna skid them back over here. Look at these beautiful slabs, eh? Oh, this is gonna be a sturdy bench. There we go, eh? Let's bring them home. Okay, let's start with the notches here. I think it's looking pretty good. Looking all right. Got a thing it'll have to do, guys. Well, oh, that's nice. You know, I hate it when a bench is too high and you don't have your feet on the ground, eh? This way, right? Perfect. Perfect for me, nice and tight free floating. I think it's beautiful. Now I'm just gonna have to bring my hand planer here and plane it out a little bit, eh? Smooth it out. And uh, yeah, put a couple toenails in there, flush it up and it should be, should be our benches. Integrated in the post, eh? Looks pretty good guys. I think it's time for lunch here now.
we can sit down, right? You betcha. is almost all done. So, we got these here. We, we made these little door, uh, these little door here. So when we get the tarp up, you know, we're gonna staple, staple some of this section here and then we can flap the door open. We're gonna figure a system for that. So come check it out over here. <clears throat> See, we got rid of this stump here. We had our, our big stump, you guys remember that, eh? It was a huge stump, so now we got this all uh, burnt out, leveled out here. Now it's frozen again, so that's okay. But uh, we're gonna take care of this last stump here and then we're gonna be able to bring some beautiful rocks, purple rocks there. I know a little quarry, so we're gonna check it out with some nice purple rocks here and finish it up like that, eh? right in the center. But uh, yeah, so I think it's time here. We're gonna start on our ladder. And most likely for this, for this episode here, it's probably gonna be the last stage that we're gonna do. Cause we're looking at the weather here and uh, other things and the tarp is probably not the best idea to put it up right now. But we're gonna look into that here shortly. Stay tuned for episode three. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna build uh, a kitchen here. We're gonna have our table set up over there and we're gonna have all kinds of nice stuff, making it cozy here. Put up our lanterns, gas lanterns. It's gonna be wicked, okay? So for now, we're gonna start this ladder and hopefully it's gonna be, um, it's, it's gonna be nice and sturdy, eh? So we're gonna do our best. All right, let's get on with it. 10 feet, should be all good. Take our redneck pencil, measure our seven inches, right about here. Seven, these are nice and flush. Seven again, 
And now because all these sticks are different sizes, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this puppy here. We know that the top is gonna be flush, right? So I'm gonna mark it out. Okay, that's the top there. Right there. So we need we need to have our notch this size here. So each stick is gonna be its own stencil, right? Because we don't really know uh, what what size they are. We could measure, but that takes too much time, eh? It's not really redneckish, so hey, eh? we're gonna do it this way. Okay, chisel these puppies out here. Look at that, eh? All right, same thing with this puppy here. Mark them out. There we go. Now we can get these little notches nice and flat. That's gonna be for a sturdy little ladder. So you see how that's gonna work here? It's gonna be notched in there, right in its place. See, it doesn't wanna move too much here. So now what we could do, we, we could uh, pre-drill and put some nails in there. But uh, I forgot my little drill bit here. So that's okay, you know what? We're gonna use some tie wire for now. It's gonna be nice and sturdy. And uh, we'll come back later and then pre-drill put some nails, because right now if we don't pre-drill, it's most likely it's gonna crack, eh? We don't want that, we want it to last for, for quite some time. But uh, all notched in like this, I think it's gonna be beautiful, nice and sturdy. So, I'm gonna get on with it here, just repeat the process all the way up until we get to the back. We're gonna do some cross angles so it doesn't uh, shift, right? So, all right, let's check it out here. So we're gonna mark it out here. And I'm going about a foot, a foot apart. Hey, that should be nice to uh, walk around here, nice and comfortable. And then once we get this puppy here, the back uh, cross braces, that's gonna be a good addition because it's just gonna make it sturdy, eh? You know, we don't want to be in a scenario where you're stuck to step in on some of these sticks here and you're like, woo hoo, hey? I don't like those, uh, I call them an inch heart attack. You know when you just move a little inch and you're high up, woo, you have this little sensation there. So it's not the greatest of feelings. So we're gonna try to do our best here to make it sturdy. And I think it's gonna look cool, eh? Notched out like that, it looks like a, like a good old, uh, a Flintstone ladder, eh? So it should be pretty neat to look at too. It's unfortunate we couldn't find some nice trees with some burrs, because I would have liked to build this out of something spectacular, eh? Like look at this one here. Imagine our ladder, we would have had something spectacular. A Little bit harder to work with obviously, but it would have looked real neat, eh? 
Well, anyways, this one's all marked out, so we're just gonna continue adding some of these puppies up there, eh? for the second floor here. Not bad. Almost all cleaned up. So you know what guys? We were talking about maybe making this a third story, eh? But uh, we, we come to the conclusion. You see how the smoke's coming up here? Now, would you be would you be sleeping at the third story and getting smoked out like that? I, I don't think so. To be honest with you, I wouldn't want to be caught up there, man. Getting smoked like a little a schnitzel up there? No, thank you. So this is why we're just not going to do it. And uh, maybe we will do a little something for storage. I don't know if we want to smoke uh, smoke some fish up here, maybe. But uh, not what I'm sleeping. That's for sure. I don't want to get smoked out. But as far as bedding goes, okay, so we got one bedroom here, single, two, maybe a... A couple, of, a couple of people, and then here there's a there's a big family that can uh, sleep up there, eh? So, not bad. There we go, eh? Almost all cleaned up. Hey, and I forgot to mention too, if you guys out there ever come across this puppy, you're more than welcome to sleep in here, eh? Make yourself some food. Enjoy a little snooze up here, you're more than welcome to. Mi casa su casa. Conclude here with the second episode here. This is uh, this is gonna be it for this one. Beautiful and our little ladder here. Even though there's no nails, it's still it's quite sturdy, quite sturdy so far, eh? So it's gonna work out great, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned here for the third episode. We're gonna wrap this puppy up. Hopefully get the planer out so we can uh, we can do these nice slabs here. Hey, do a little bit more finesse carpentry here. It's gonna be beautiful. Thanks guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you guys next time.